All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mod 7 with your buddy here, Super Turtle Guys. Today we got some fun stuff planned, so stick around and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out a whole ton. That's right, when you guys left me last, I was just a wee turtle just in the world, and now we are a full-fledged turtle. You might look here and say, wow, you got a blast chiller set up with a multi-servo press to make packed ice for your, uh, for your power reactor over there. And I would say, yes, I did. It's really cool. You should try it out. Super simple. You just pull in from the top with uh, the blast chiller and you put it into multi-servo press and then it compresses it when it hits nine into the packed ice. And then you take this and turn it into blue ice and then you put it into your power reactor and it cools it a lot. And then you can also take this and put it into um, a energized thing of a doohickey for this, uh, I'll show you. This guy here and it turns it into the dry ice that um, is the best uh, coolant source for power. So. Anyway, I set this up. Uh, these are the um, energizing rod and energizing orbs from power. I just connect these to power. They're super simple. Oh, wait, I think I did this with you guys, actually. But yeah, I set it up with this factory hopper here that uh, clicks it only every couple of seconds. I think every like three or four. Uh, and so it allows these guys to process up. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of uranite here. It's awesome. Um, and I did set up the quarry to go to an ender chest which has an importer with a couple of speed upgrades and a stack upgrade so that we're getting all of our items right into here so if we throw these guys in yep you can see that we have 460 uranite we've got uh, so much copper jeez louise i have too much too much copper i've got over a thousand blocks of the raw copper it's a little ridiculous and we get to double that so yeah, we've got just a little bit of copper there. Um, but yeah, our resource is doing good. We have over 400 diamonds, 1,000 redstone. We're still working on getting our iron supply up. It's not that big. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of resources here. So I do feel like we are much better uh, set to tackle what we're doing today. Uh, and that is getting into the mystical agriculture seeds uh, plus something very interesting. Now, normally I set up garden cloches, but this phytogenic isolator I heard is supposed to be stupid good um, for growing these seeds. It's supposed to be really quick. You just need to pump it with water and power, um, kind of like a the garden cloche, but it's supposed to be really, really efficient. So we're going to test it out. So I do want to go ahead and make a couple of uh, stuff here. And because we have the you know creeper farm, the blaze farm, and all of that um, creeper, and then the wither skeleton, we actually have these uh, fire charges. Technically, we can automate those pretty easily. So making lumium is super easy for us now, which is something I'm a big fan of. Um, and let's see here. We just need to make a machine frame. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. So phytogenic isolator. Let's give this bad boy a try. Let's get some cables. Uh, and then we're also going to need a sink um, here. And we do have everything we need for that. Perfect. OK, so let's go down here. And let's just put it right here. So boom, boom. Okay, so this guy's getting power. We should be able to automatically pull water in. Yep, we can do that. Perfect. So that guy is kind of set up. And now we just need to work on the mystical agriculture seeds. All right, mystical agriculture. This is a very powerful mod. I highly recommend it. Okay, so we have the infusion altar. Now we just need these infusion pedestals. I think we need eight of them. Yep, we sure do. So we have those. Let us get a lever. All right, so we can set this up now. We're going to do this outside. Uh, getting a little bit of server lag. Everyone's bases are starting to get much more complex. So yeah, server is uh, screaming just a little bit. Okay. Whoops. Perfect. So that there is working. We have a lever to go ahead and activate it. Very good. All right, so now that that's in, let's go ahead 
and just make some basic seeds here. Um, let's see, what's something that we... Okay, let's make some Inferium seeds. Actually, we don't need the Mystic Altar or the Altar for that. We can just test these out here. So here we go. I don't know if that's better. I think we need to put some upgrades in there real quick. So let us try these upgrades. I'm sure if you make this a uh, the resonant level, it just flies. Okay, so big boy there. Put those here and that. How much power is he using? 96 RF per tick, so using a lot. Okay, so it gave us one. Hmm. I don't know if garden cloches are worse or better. Let us max it out. Um, and we will see. The fact that we keep having to put it back in is a little worrying to me. But, I mean, we can easily automate that with pipes and stuff. So, no big worry there. Thermal series. All right. So, let's see what we need to do to make a... Resonant guy, we're gonna make another one of these guys too. Gold gear. Okay, that makes it good for the next tier. We just need the signalum. There we go. And then the resonant tier. Okay, so we need some uh shoot, I don't want to use all of those. <laughs> okay. So some Lumium Gears. So then we just need some Inferium. And we should have some Platinum. We do, perfect. We need the Hammer. Oh, I am out of the Copper Hammer, dang. Well, I think we're gonna be a little tight. I'm just kidding. We got plenty of these guys. Okay. So, Plat, is there any other way to make the Andarium ingots? Nah, it looks like that's it. Unless we want to go through, yeah, Tinkers. Okay, so we're going to have to do this method here, which is okay. Wow, we got a stack of the stuff. I was not expecting to have a stack. Okay. There we go. Andarium, we've, we've maxed out... Thermal series real quick. Oh, and just so you guys are aware, off camera, I did make a 256K storage disk, so we got plenty of storage. That's why I went ahead and did that, because we filled this guy up real quick. So I was like, oh, crap, we got to make one of these. So just made that. It's um, 364Ks together. gives you an extra one, basically. So, yeah, it's great. Um, does it give you an extra one? Is that how the math works? My brain's having a hard time knowing. Okay. So, oh, we need hardened glass. Now, do we need, no, we can just use the hardened glass. Cool. So we have the max tier resonant inner integral components. So let's, oops, put that guy here. So if we swap it out. There's 128 RF per tick, so we're using a lot of power. Um, hmm, that is not moving that quick still. Let's get some more of the speedy boys. Okay, so we have, actually we didn't need to make three of them, we only need to make two. But this should be the fastest this guy can go. And for 320 RF per tick, I mean, I guess that's pretty quick, but I mean, that's using a lot of power. The Garden Cloches, they're pretty cheap. You don't need to set up a lot of them. Is there something I'm missing? Um, if we set this up outside, say, in direct sunlight, maybe it could potentially be faster because it does say it, need, it has like the sunlight thing, so that could be why it's slow. Okay, so we can come over here by the um, the 
like I guess the our windmills. So we have instant power pulling in water from the side. Yep, okay. And we have all the upgrades. We do. Hmm. That is not all that good. Is there anything we can put down below then that would speed it up? So my assessment is for the lower tier seeds. The um, this isn't worth it, you know, because you can just ma we can like mass produce inferium seeds, um, no no problem whatsoever. However, the higher tier ones, because you don't need any um, you don't need any of the like soil. Like you can just throw this in like right away. So I want to see if we can get to some uranite seeds. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need probably a few of these guys. We'll just see how far up we can push this. Okay, so probably not too far, honestly. Okay, that's getting real low. 11. We got two of the Supremium S's, okay. Make cobalt seeds, osmium fluorite, and then we get up here into the higher tier, and we just don't have enough of the essence. Okay. So we need two more, and we can start automating uranite. So what that means is I should be able to find some unfortunate, um, or we just go AFK for a bit and let our system do the work, which would be ideal, but we need a lot of inferium. So maybe we set up a, what are the ways we can get this? Uh, obviously through the ores, that's no question of mine. Um, how else? We used to be able to get it from killing mobs. Um, but yeah, like that, this gives two. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if this is the best Elio anymore. All right, I think it's time we make some garden cloches, which means we do need to get into um, immersive engineering, which means we need a Coke oven. Um, so yeah, let me get all the stuff ready for this and then we'll basically get into immersive engineering. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so we've got a few things going on here. Um, so we need to start off with the Coke oven. I believe, yeah, we need 27 of those. Okay, so let's get these smelting up here. We got a lot of clay, so we are... That guy scared the crap out of me. Where is he at? You wanna get wrecked? What do you got to sell? Green enchanted sapling. Maybe, maybe we keep this guy alive for a little second. How many emeralds do I got? I gotta see what that green enchanted sapling is all about. You got 38 emeralds? Let's spend some of them. Hang on. I was gonna do immersive engineering stuff, but we can wait. We can do some villager to something, something stuff. Okay. So green enchanted sapling. We're going to get this pig pen tome. And we'll take some brown dye. Now give me some roots. Thanks. Kill the trayer and his annoying llamas. We've done it. We are successful Minecrafters. Cool. So we will worry about that later. Don't let me forget about it. Oh, wait, that's right. You kind of have to let me forget about it. Okay, so here we go. We need to load 27. Okay, we're still waiting, which is fine. Okay, just four more bricks. We're good. Hey, look at that. And Darium. 
Ender I am. That's really what it should be called. Ender I am, you know, because that would make everyone cringe, including myself. I'm going to unsay that. Maybe I'll edit it out. Maybe I'll leave it in there so you have to cringe too. All right, and then we do need the engineer's hammer. Where are you? There you are. Bang a lang. Cool beans. So I think we're going to put this in the wall. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, okay. Wanted to make sure. Perfect. So what we do is we grab some coal and it will basically burn this into coal coke, um, which is actually a really good fuel source. Plus the byproduct of making coal coke is the creosote oil that will process over here into this. We just throw a bucket once we have a thousand and we're good. But as you can see, this does take a while. There used to be this thing called a time in a bottle. Oh my gosh. That's really expensive. <laughs> but we, we are so making this. Oh my gosh. This thing is so overpowered. Oh my Lord. We actually have it in this. It doesn't require the expensive. The only thing is it does require unobtainium. You know, you know, obtainium, unobtainium. I'm going to call it unobtainium. Um, yeah, but we, uh, we can get that probably within the next couple of episodes. If we really, really try, we can do it. Oh, I need that copper stuff. Okay, so yeah, I still need to let, like, this is our, our kind of thing holding us up right now is the coal coke and the creosote oil. So I do need to let this process up. So I'm going to go AFK here for a bit, which means we get more resources from our quarry, our builder quarry, and then we get more resources from this coke oven here. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so we have four buckets of creosote oil here. Uh, so we can turn these into... Uh, treated wood planks. Um, so we'll have half a stack here, which will be hopefully enough. Otherwise, we're going to be here for a bit. Okay, so with the 32 here, uh, we do need to make an engineer's workbench. Um, so we need a normal crafting table. I'm trying to be very sparing. Okay, so we do need to do that. Um, and we are going to need treated wood plank sticks. Okay, that gives us the engineer's crafting table. Very good. Okay, so we just need, ah, dang it, one of these to make these, and we should have what we need. Yes, we do. Perfect. Engineer's workbench. Uh, so, oh, not there. Okay, so we have it here, beautiful. All right, and then to make the vacuum tubes is what we need here. Okay, we can make it beautiful. So we put that here, you should see it look cool. Yeah, that looks so cool, so glitchy, awesome. So vacuum tubes, and we are gonna make those guys. So that'll be sweet, we can make them here. We need a little bit of copper. I think we have some copper. All right, so we take those, those, and those. Oh, that's a nickel plate. I was like, why isn't that working? I was like, what is going on? I have put it exactly what it told me to. Okay, so there we go. Ooh. So now we have those guys. So now, in order to make the vacuum tube, we need redstone, nickel plate, and then some glass. So we have the nickel plates, the copper wire, we just need the redstone and the glass. I think we put the redstone and glass in there. Oh, glass. I said it. Important part that we need. Why did the cobble, cobble go in there? Words are hard sometimes. Okay. So this should mean that now we have everything to make a couple of the garden cloches. Cool. So we have 10. I didn't think we'd be making that many, but uh, we we do. So we need some pipe here. Uh, I don't actually intend on utilizing all 10 of them. I was just going to do two on two. Or we could just do one on one and have a contest. 
Oh, gosh, dang it. To see which one wins. Whoops. Whoops. Recipe. A giant log. Okay. So here we go. All right, so we've got the two. We're going to need a transport pipe. Beautiful. And then we'll need a sink. Uh, the sink's already out there. We're going to utilize the same sink. Okay, we're good. What? What? Half the door opened up. Did you guys see that? What kind of crazy nonsense was that? Game trying to catch me fooling or something. I don't know. Okay, so... Yes, we'll have to move this here. The... Mechanical pipe will go here. We'll use the configurator to pull it out there. Beautiful. Oh, we also need some cable. Okay, so with the cable here, uh, we can get on top. We are gonna, it's gonna be a little ugly, but it has power, which is all we need. Beautiful. Okay. And so I want these here and here. What? Oh, that is not a transport cable. <laughs> that was a pipe. There we go. I was like, uh, is this not compatible anymore? Since when? Okay, and so then we can take the items and push them out here. Bam. Okay. Ooh. So if we do this. Just gonna. Okay. So we grab this item. Yes, so it puts the Inferium Essence there. Perfect. And we can take the. We're at a transport cable. Frick, I didn't think this far ahead. Okay, so in theory, because only Inferium Essence can go here. And only the seed can go here. It should continue to process. Can we add? We can. Okay. So we're going to add that there. We're going to put this here. We don't have any stuff in it just yet. Okay. So I'm going to put Inferium Farmland. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. This is so weird. I might need to break the door or restart the server. It might be... Uh, I'd be having a rough time. Anyway, put this guy here because that is the same tier essence or t same tier, uh, and then it will take the Inferium essence. Hmm. Um. I'm gonna tear down this whole setup real quick. Oops. And I'm going to move it so that we can have, we'll just say we'll put this here. We need the power to come in from the bottom. Okay. There we go. And... Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna break it off. We'll put this here. Break this off. Okay, so let's try it now, though we don't we need the pipe. Oh, here we go. Huh. Okay, bam, oh, no, other way, bam. Okay, so does, is it smart enough? The seeds, how do we get the seeds back into it? Do, do we turn that into a, uh, a drawer so we can put the seeds there? Oh, 
Hang on, we need to lock that. Um, we lock it. There we go, okay, so it's locked. And if we do this, pulls the seeds out and puts them back in the top. So now this is automated. Yes, oh my goodness, okay. So now we have photogenic generator. And we need to give these guys a minute, but we are going to upgrade the pipes because uh, I don't want that to be a limiting factor. So we're going to take the infused alloy and you just right click the mechanism pipes and they will upgrade. So super duper easy. I love that about mechanism. Uh, a lot of people might not. So here we go. I'm going to click here, click here. Okay, so a little bit wasteful because they do up to eight, but we need this guy to be here. But this is working. It's actually already caught it and passed it. Oh, my. But it does use a lot of power. 320. Okay, so one of these guys. So if that uses 50, so we need... We need seven of these for this guy. Seven, seven windmills for one of these uh, at this level. But yeah, that's producing quite a bit. So um, I think our system is good. I don't think we're, I think we can support it. Uh, no, we are draining power. We lost power there, lost power. So I will probably need to set up a couple more of these in order to support this. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that now. And yeah, um, do we make all seven? I think that's a good idea. It's not gonna look very pretty. We're gonna have to move these guys eventually, but. Okay, I guess we're gonna go ahead and add in the seven generators here. Um, so yeah, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll do the seventh one. Oh, not that far away. Seventh one here, okay. So next, all we need to do is just connect these up. Whoops, should have done that. Um, okay, so yeah, we're just gonna route it super simple. Um, just through the ground and up, and this will give us the extra power that we need to support the um, the, the seeds being made. So yeah, pretty pretty simple. Um, I bet this looks terrible now. Yeah, that looks really crappy. But anyway, this should mean that our generators are still draining. Oh. It's all of the dang stupid uh, copper that I'm processing down below. Uh, but I will actually go ahead and let those two kind of uh, battle it out a bit. Um, we're not really battling it out, but yeah. But yeah, this, this whole system here is what's draining all of the power. So yeah. Um, that's where our power is going. We need to probably upgrade the reactor a bit and get uh, everything other than the RF tool system onto the reactor network. Uh, we're going to have a couple different networks. So, yeah, but I'm going to grab all this. The amount of copper that I've gotten from the, um, the, the quarry is ridiculous. Um, yeah, it is out, out, uh, astounding, not outstanding, astounding. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.